How's it going everyone? The Trout Mighty One here with a video called 10 Tips to Succeed in Advanced Warfare. Use the ASM-1. This is actually a submachine gun. It does look a lot like an assault rifle, but it is in fact a submachine gun. It has a low rate of fire and has a decent amount of damage. I found that a lot of the people that I was playing against used it as well for the majority of the game because it is a very, very strong gun from the start. It's possibly one of the best ones in the game that we had access to at Eurogamer. So when you do get on the game, I would look to use that gun. It is very strong. I liked it with the silencer and the red dot sight, and I think silencers are going to be a big thing this year in Call of Duty. Number two, get yourself a scuff controller or learn to play claw. If you don't know what a scuff controller is, it's basically a regular controller with paddles on the back that act as your uh, face buttons, so your A, B, X, and Y. So you can do things like jump, lay go and prone, or knife, depending on what layout you're on, switch weapons, reload, without having to take your buttons off the uh, sticks. And that's the big thing about it. There's going to be a lot of jumping and strafing with the added... Uh, exoskeleton maneuvers where you can jump and uh, push yourself through the air. So being able to jump around and shoot at the same time is a big thing and it's something that all the top players and pros use and utilize in Call of Duty that make them so successful. If you don't have the money to spend on this or you don't really want to buy a new controller, I would suggest learning to play Claw which is basically moving your index finger across the four buttons, the A, B, X and Y, so you can do that and keep your thumbs on the sticks at the same time. That way you can do those extra maneuvers whilst aiming and shooting. This should be quite an obvious one, but it's something that so many people forget. I've even seen pros forget to do it when they're in tense situations. It's don't sprint and rush around corners as much. You'll find that your KD will actually rise so much if you don't sprint and rush everywhere. If you're going around a corner and you're not too sure what's there, don't run around it. If you slowly walk, you'll be very much prepared and you won't be caught in a mid-sprint animation and you'll be able to get the drop on your enemy who might be actually sprinting around the corner. You want to use the perk low profile if you're finding that you're getting caught out by the UAV too much. The UAV is actually quite a higher kill streak to earn in this game, but if you are being caught out by the minimap, you certainly want to put this perk on to make sure that you don't get caught out. It can be very useful for flanking at people, and with this game's maps, it looks like there are a lot of little different pathways you can take to get around the enemy, so it's very, very valuable. Use toughness. This perk's really underrated and it was something that was very prominent in Black Ops 2 and it basically stops you from flinching when you shoot. Sometimes it can work out in your favour being able to flinch because if someone shoots you, your gun will shoot up and sometimes get a lucky headshot. But at long distances it can really throw your aim off and usually deny you the kill if you're not wearing it. So you want to put that perk on so you can get those long range shots. So listen to your surroundings. If you own a headset, you're going to be at a very big advantage because the exoskeleton suits are very, very loud and easy to hear. That's not to say that they can't be muted with the use of the perk Exomute, which basically stops all sounds from your exoskeleton, and I think it also stops sounds from your character as well. But it's very useful to listen to gun sounds and the exoskeletons and the movements from the other team because you will catch people out around corners very easily if you can actually hear what's going on around you, and it also save your life if someone's trying to sneak up behind you. Kill streaks actually cost. Uh, pick points in this one so you need to invest in your kit very wisely. I suggest if you're a band player that you should probably invest more of your points into the actual overall kit and the gun that you're using to make sure you do get those kills and the streaks. If you're a very good player you're probably not going to be needing so much on your actual equipment loadout and you can actually opt for those bigger kill streaks. Sticking to the outer areas of the map means that, that it limits the amount that people can sneak up on you. If you know that people aren't going to be coming from a certain direction, you can basically say to yourself, okay, that guy's got to be coming from these directions, freeing you up in so many different directions, because obviously you can only look in one direction at once, which is very, very difficult to look in multiple directions at the same time. So limiting the amount that people can come from different directions to you really helps your chances in surviving. It's quite a mean one and quite a scumbag one, but use your teammates as bait. If they all they want to do is rush around corners and rush out into the open where you know that they're going to be shot, just let them do it. If they want to do it, I don't know, stick a Semtex to them. Maybe they'll go and get you a kill by blowing up if they run into someone. 
but it also give you an indicator of where is not a good way to go and what is not a good one. It also, if you look at your minimap where people are dying, you'll be able to determine, okay, there's people coming from that direction, there's people not coming from that, that direction. It could mean that you decide to head them on and try and best them in a 1v1 fight, or you could take a different approach to getting around them and taking them out for an easy kill. It also means that in game modes like Team Deathmatch, where your team are in the majority population, the enemy are going to spawn. So if you put, set yourself up away from your teammates, you can use your teammates to flip the spawns and give you lots and lots of kills in certain areas. If all else fails, play the objective. It might not work out so well for you in terms of your KD and your score, however if you are helping your teammates win the game, it will certainly give them better spawns, it will have better times for yourself, they'll be able to get kill streaks and get you back into the game by giving you map presence and control on the game. I hope you enjoyed the tips and if you did please do drop a like rate and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done there's going to be lots of helpful videos going up about Advanced Warfare once it drops and I hope to see you later. Peace out.